Northern Colorado grows, so does the need for water. But a plan to store huge amounts of snowmelt is now coming under fire. The Northern Colorado Water Conservancy District wants to spend $2 billion in Northern Colorado to build two dams and extensive pipelines. But defenders of the Poudre River are trying to stop it. Your reporter for Northern Colorado, Dylan Thomas, spoke with them about their fight. And Dylan, why are they doing this? What's the reason? You know, the Poudre River right here behind me is a key source to revenue and literal life for here in northern Colorado and many communities to our east. There's now a lawsuit, though, to try and stop the building of those dams. Opponents say that it would divert water, prioritizing developing communities over the river itself. Highway 287 a two-lane roadway connecting Fort Collins to Laramie, Wyoming. But soon, this section of the highway could all be underwater. The Northern Integrated Supply Project, or NISP, would create a reservoir north of Ted's Place, forcing the highway to be relocated. The project awarded a federal permit by the Army Corps of Engineers just over a year ago, a permit some are now trying to block. We're very concerned about the project. Mark Easter and his peers with Save the Pooter filed suit, arguing the Corps' permit approval places the Pooter's ecosystem at risk. The entire ecosystem of the Pooter River is organized around those peak flows. The organization believes taking water from the Pooter for the reservoir will damage the river's ecosystem downstream, especially in summer months with snowmelt rising the river. If we lose, lose those peak flows, we functionally, we just lose, lose the river. Northern Water, via statement, told CBS News Colorado they are, quote, confident in the work performed by the Army Corps of Engineers that the permit issued to NISP will be affirmed based on the detailed work done over the years and extensive mitigation included, end quote, something Save the Pooter disagrees with. The greatest concern that we have is that there's better alternatives. We don't believe the project is really needed. We should note, we did reach out to the Army Corps of Engineers seeking interview or comment for this story. However, a spokesperson told me they can't provide further comment as there is pending litigation. Reporting live in Northern Colorado, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado First. So we know, Dylan, that you'll continue to keep us posted on what happens. Thanks so much. Dylan, of course, your reporter for Northern Colorado. He lives and works there, really cares about it, wants to share what's going on in your community. So if you have any story ideas, we hope you'll reach out to him through our website. And you can always call our tip line. Super Bowl.